Hi everyone, I'm Sam Gleaves here at Heinemann Settlement School and today I've got a lesson on how to hold the fiddle and how to hold the bow and how to play a D major scale for our Pick and Bow After School Music Program students and parents. Uh, that program is funded by South Arts. So let's dive into the lesson here. Alright, let's take a look at the bow here. So at the end of the bow there is a metal screw here or some people call it an adjuster and so if the hair on the bow is sort of loose or slack if it looks like this then you might need to tighten uh, the hair there so you just use the screw and tighten it up until there's about a finger width between I'm looking at the middle of the bow here. There's about a pinky width between the hair and the stick on the bow. So the bow will still have a curve in it. As you can see, uh, my bow has a, a, the curve there. You don't want this part to be uh, convex or um, like a C shape. So then you want to hold the bow like so. You take your thumb and bend it a little bit and put it between this little leather grip here and the frog. This uh, wooden part is called the frog. So put your th tip of your thumb with the joint of your thumb bent right in there and then take these three fingers on the top of your right hand and put the creases of your fingers, this first crease in each finger should be touching the stick of the bow. So wrap your first three fingers around the bow like that and then take bend your pinky at the first joint there and put the tip of your pinky on the top of the bow on top of the stick toward the end so that's how it looks there your your bow grip let's try that one more time here so um, you take your right thumb bend it at the first joint and put it between the leather and the frog there under the stick then take your first three fingers wrap them around the top of the stick at the first uh, first joint that part should touch the stick of the bow and then take the top of your pinky with your pinky bent and put it right there on the end of the, the stick there on the top uh, the stick. So that is how the bow grip looks. Three fingers on top, the thumb is right here, and the pinky ends up right here on top of the bow. Alright, so let's review from this angle how you hold the bow. So we've got the bow here, I've got my thumb on my left hand, I'm taking it and putting it in between the leather piece here and the, the wood on the frog. My thumb is bent a little bit at the first joint and I'm putting it right there. Now I've got my three fingers on um, my left hand. I'm going to put the crease of the first crease of all those fingers on the top of the stick spread out a little bit. Now I'm going to take my pinky and bend it at the first joint. Put the tip of my pinky on the top of the stick. So it looks like that, the bow hold there. Now I'm going to take my fiddle and put it up. Uh, the back of the fiddle is going to go on my left shoulder. And I put my chin on the chin rest. And the fiddle should be angled slightly down like that. So let's bow the open strings here. First string, E. Second string, A. Third string D, fourth string G. Now, uh, on your left hand, you number your fingers one, two, three, and four. So index is one, middle is two, ring is three, and the pinky is four. So now that we know that, uh, and by the way, you can check the tuning of your fiddle, uh, go to the video 
before this one on how to tune the fiddle. You can check the tuning on your fiddle uh, as you should at the beginning of every practice session. And then we'll uh, play a D major scale here. So play the open third string, that's a D note. Now put your first finger on your left hand on the first tape mark on the third string. That note is E. Play the E note. Now put your second finger on the second tape mark, still on that third string. That note is F sharp. Play the F sharp note. Now take your third finger on the third string still, put it on that third tape mark. That is G. Play the G note. Now the open second string, play it. That is A, play the A note. Put your first finger down on the first mark on the second string. That's a B note, play the B note. Now put your second finger down on the second string. That's a C sharp note. Play the C sharp. Now put your third finger down on the third mark on the second string. That's a D note. So play the D note. And sometimes it's hard to place your fingers when you're starting to play the fiddle. So one way we can check to see if our notes are in tune is to use the open strings. So play that D note again on the second string. So I've got my third finger on the third mark on the second string. Now play the open third string, which is also a D. These notes are the same, they're just an octave apart. You can even try playing uh, the two strings at once. So that lets you know that you're uh, in tune. Because if I'm not in tune, it sounds like this. Something crazy like that. So let's play the, the D major scale again. Check your hold on your bow. Put your thumb underneath. Spread your three fingers out on top. Put the pinky bent on the top of the stick of the bow. And now let's play the open third string D. First finger third string, that's E. Then, second finger third string, that's F sharp. Third finger on the third string, third mark, that's G. Open second string, that's A. First finger, first mark on the second string, that's B. Then, second finger, second string, second mark, that's C sharp. And then take uh, your third finger, third mark on the second string, and that's D. Now we can play the scale backwards. So start with that D note, third finger on the second string. Go down to the second finger on the second string, C sharp. Go down to the first finger on the second string, that's B. Open second string, that's A. Go to the third string and put your third finger down on the third tape mark, that's G. Then go down to your second finger, still on the third string, that's F sharp. Go down to the first finger on the third string still. That's E. And then go, go to the open third string for D. So you're repeating the same pattern with your fingers on the third string and then the second string. So let's play that uh, D major scale again here. Open third string. First finger, second finger, third finger, cross over to the second string, open, on the second string, first finger, 
second finger, third finger. Let's go backwards. Third finger, second string, second finger, first finger, open second string, go back to the third string at the third tape mark, third finger, second finger, first finger, open, third string. So it'll help a lot if you can memorize the names of those notes. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. It might sound familiar to you. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. That's a major scale as we would sing it. Thank you for watching this lesson. Follow our channel for more video music lessons. You can find our channel on YouTube at Heinemann Settlement School Pick and Bow Music Program. The Pick and Bow After School Music Program is coordinated by the Traditional Arts Program at Heinemann Settlement School. This project is a component of the In These Mountains Central Appalachian Folk Arts and Culture Initiative and supported in part by a grant from South Arts, a nonprofit regional arts organization. Learn more at www.heinemann.org and www.southarts.org.